The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In the Kupiansk direction, aviation and artillery of the Zapad group of forces have engaged the units of the armed forces of Ukraine close to Artyomovka in Lugansk People's Republic, Vurechnaya and Berestavoye in Kharkov region. The enemy's losses in this direction during the day amounted to 70 Ukrainian troops, one infantry fighting vehicle, two pickup trucks, one Grat MLRS vehicle and one US-made M777 artillery system. In the Krasny Leman direction, the ground attack and dummy aviation, artillery and units of the center group of forces have inflicted fire damage on enemy manpower and military equipment close to Chervona and Dibrova in Lugansk People's Republic, Terny and Yampolovka in Donetsk People's Republic. More than 80 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored vehicles, three pickup trucks and one D-30 howitzer have been destroyed during the day. In total, 404 airplanes, 224 helicopters, 3,544 unmanned aerial vehicles, 414 air defense missile systems, 8,384 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,071 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 4,415 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 9,073 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. The other side, Ukraine Defense Ministry in a statement said Russia lost 660 servicemen in a single day, including 13 tanks and 11 armored fighting vehicles. In total, Kremlin lost 168,150 servicemen during the conflict, including 3,579 tanks, 6,898 armored fighting vehicles as well as 305 jet fighters and 290 helicopters. Ukraine Defense Ministry also shows footage of 59 separate motorized infantry brigade named after Yarkov Hanziuk destroy Russia tanks in front line. Russia and Ukraine conflict lasted for 393 days. There is still no peace talk agreements from both sides. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya!